Like pretend I have like fire in my hands, but see I just <laughs> I look dumb, but maybe they'll be there later. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly Berglund here with Cosmo doing the Breakdown Breakdown. So we're gonna be watching some moments in my career and I'm gonna give you the inside scoop as to what was really going on. Chase, Cass, somebody help! This is all my fault. If I hadn't bragged about my superpowers and made you jealous, none of this would have happened. No, oh, it's, it's my fault for thinking The Rock would fix everything. This is so dramatic. Wait. Maybe it can. I was a part of Lab Rats, or the Lab Rats, I don't know, franchise, you could call it, for five years. We did four years of Lab Rats, the series, and then one year of our spin-off show, Lab Rats Elite Force, which this clip is from. This was really fun. Paris, who I do this scene with, is like one of my best friends, so it's really funny looking back at us. Little babies, we're so young in this, and it's it's just very funny to watch. This is a very dramatic moment in the show, but uh, when they merged the two Disney shows to form Lab Rats Elite Force, it was awesome. We had an amazing cast to work with, and everyone got along really well. I mean, to this day, some of them are still my best friends, so this gave me a lot of friendships in life, and I think it was a really good experience for me to learn how to be on television, just learn the basics to apply later on in life. It's so ridiculous filming special effects. You feel so stupid. There's nothing there. But this show specifically, it was very, uh, it was like a sci-fi based kind of show. So uh, we played superheroes and there were lots of moments where we had visual effects and we had to pretend like things were there. So at this point, like with this clip, I had done many years of it. So it became like second nature, but it's always so strange, like pretending to be a superhero and standing there and there's no disc in your hand and there's no superpowers and you just look really funny to the rest of the crew. Like pretend I have like fire in my hands, but see, I just, <laughs> I look dumb, but maybe they'll be there later, I don't know. <laughs> Disney actually was not my first job and I hope there's <laughs> no clip of this, but I did a show called Hip Hop Harry. So I was maybe nine totally years old. And the best way to describe it is um, like Barney in a sense, but it taught kids life lessons through song and dance. It like went viral last year or something, like randomly. It became some like meme, which I think is really hilarious, but that was my first ever TV job. I've come a long way. <laughs> Going oh, home no. with him wouldn't be awkward or scary like it would be with other boys. And when he walks into the dance holding my hand, it's just perfect. Like strolling down a rose petaled path in the sparkling moonlight <laughs> in Paris. Wow, you've really thought about this. And everyone will be watching, but it'll feel like we're the only two people on earth. And when we kiss, It'll be the perfect kiss. And the moment will burn in my memory forever, like a magical brain tattoo. Like a magical brain tattoo. <laughs> That's funny. This, this is really funny. I mean, just like looking at that clip, this whole girl's life revolved around finding a man, which is really funny. We've grown, we've evolved since then. But this was kind of a big deal for me when I booked this movie. It was my first DCOM. Um, and this is actually the reason why I was able to end up doing one of those glow stick. Uh, Hi, you're watching Disney Channel. I'm Kelly Bregler, you're watching Disney Channel and the little glow stick. So it was thanks to this movie that I got to do that. So that was an iconic moment for me. This is one of those things where I'm like, it's very sweet, but I look back and I cringe. Especially the outfits. I don't know. Those were wild. My sweet 16 is tomorrow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, Maybe oh, going to Disneyland. I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, but yeah. Yes, I love Disneyland. It's my favorite place in the world. Oh. So hopefully I can do something pretty good. This fun. is really sweet. I, I was six, so well, great, almost 16. They're all so great. Um, Probably that was like my first. Cool. Or really one cool. of my first kind of like interviews ever. I was on the show Lab Rats at the time. <laughs> and I'll never forget, they brought in a ton of interviewers and lined us up and we went down the row one by one to do interviews with these people. And that was my first experience doing any sort of press or anything like that. It's very sweet and I'm very innocent in this little clip, but 
I'm such a squirrel. It's, <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> I'm Kelly Berglund, and this is my life. I love to dance. I love how you're able to express yourself. My favorite form of dance would probably be contemporary. Kelly's a performer at heart. Oh, my so dad. Whenever she's dancing, <laughs> that's just her passion. She loves to create things, express <laughs> herself through dancing. A big part of my life right now is my acting and lab rats. We go to dance together, and we go to our classes, and we dance. She wants to be the best at everything, and she will keep on working at it until she gets it right. This video is uh, a running joke in my family because my whole family is in this interview. We love to joke with my sister that her only commentary, I mean, she was what, like six, seven years old at the time, was we like to go to dance and we go to class together and we dance. So that's like a running joke in our family. <laughs> so it's very funny that I'm reacting to this right now. Also very cute. Also 16-year-old Kelly and Dance was really important to me, so this is sweet. <laughs> oh my god, it's like never ending, these Disney clips. <laughs> I trade it all for something real, something is wrong. That's a little, that's a little, um, wow, I haven't sung for anyone in years. You're welcome. <laughs> my short-lived singing career, my Disney singing career. There it is. <laughs> I like to sing, I have never pursued it Professionally, I am much more of an actor than a singer, but this was my very short-lived moment. Predictable Disney singing girl moment. The song was a bop, I'll say that. It, it was a good song, and it was fun, and it was cute. <laughs> if you try archery, make sure you never point your bow and arrow at another person. Let's do this again. We're gonna try we this go. again. It's good yeah. advice. So this is I'm trying to remember. I'm sure they had to have planted an arrow in a balloon, like, or on the target somewhere, because I truly don't remember being that good. I would love to watch Olivia's reaction to this as well. That would be, that would be great. <laughs> we were very young in this, uh, this little archery moment. <laughs> don't you ever get bizarre premonitions? Maybe smoke a smidge last pot before bedtime? I've been camping online for money. Ew, but cool? I'm a millennial, so sexual fluidity is kind of a requirement. Are you gonna punish me? I'm sorry, was that too much? Who have we here? Ulysses, uh, his BFF, Carly. You know that I heart you? Yeah, come on. Uh, it'll be fun. So much has happened since I last saw you. Please, please, please. That's the Sex Dungeon show. That's the one. There's a little clip of it in there too. Me wearing a red outfit with very short curly hair. <laughs> I think so far, Carly from Now Apocalypse has been my favorite. She was just so outrageous, but at the same time, she felt like an amplified version of myself. Like I wish I was as cool as Carly and as funny as Carly and I strive to be her one day, but working on that set was amazing and it just kind of like flowed out of me. It was it was a lot of fun. I do miss that show and I miss that character. She was she was something. Although I do love Crystal so much in heels. I'm not just a ballet. I can wrestle. Ace can succeed at the highest level. She's so different. I don't think they exist in the same world whatsoever, but heels has been the biggest challenge, which also really excites me. I was gonna say these clips are like two opposite ends of the spectrum. We've got like 16 year old Disney girl who loves Disneyland and then, you know, Sex Dungeon Carly. It's, it's very funny. I think it was a little shocking for some people. Obviously when I did this show, I was older. I was probably 22, 23 at the time. And you can't blame people for being shocked because when you're a part of a Disney or Nickelodeon show. I had this conversation with Avin, actually, who was on Victorious for so long. That becomes a very important part of people's uh, childhoods and their heart, and that lives with them forever, and you'll always be Brie Davenport or, you know. And I don't blame them for that, and I love that that's a part of them, but we all grow up, the fans grow up, I grow up, and we change and we grow, and this show was, uh, like now Apocalypse, was so out there. But when you go into something like that, I, I look at it as a person and I say, 
this is awesome for me. I love the script. I love the writer, the director, and it's so worth it to me. And it's an artistic choice, and I'm so glad that I did it. You can call it my Miley Cyrus moment if you want, but I think it was done in a tasteful way, and I don't regret it at all. And I think it opened the door to other roles that are a little more adult and layered, and you know, women that deal with adult issues. It's it's been a good transition, I think. I'm I'm happy with it. I can smile and laugh looking back at all of these jobs that I've done because they're they're a part of me. I wouldn't take it back. This has been super fun. Thanks so much for having me and watching these with me and make sure you guys all check out Heels on Stars. It's gonna be great. Little heart. <laughs>